There is a funny noise going on here in the John Deere 7700. I can't, I, I can't isolate it, but every once in a while I hear this weird beeping noise. It's like a cell phone underneath the seat is going off or something. Crazy, I, I think I'm losing my freaking mind. I, honest to God. Um, if you hear it, let, there, there it was. Hear it? There it was. Oh, crap. Well, good day, my former friends. Welcome back to the bayou. I am continuing on with the uh, old harvest here on this fine and old setting field. I have the truck almost full. I'm just going to keep going on until I get until I get the hopper full, and we'll fill the truck, and then I'll have to go dump it and come back. But oh man, time is flying by. Holy buckets, time is just flying right by. Yeah, it's a good thing though. It's a good thing. I um I enjoy it. You know what? No, I'm going to keep. Well, ah, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. I stopped the combine there. I was going to keep uh, keep going. I thought, oh no, I'll empty it. And I thought, oh no, I'll keep going. And I thought, oh no, I'll empty it. And I, I'm undecisive. Welcome back to the undecisive min farming. Oh no, summer, summer. Holy crap! I almost forgot my uh, my darn name there. Summer. Welcome back to summer farming. Oh no, that's not right. I got to reset that puppy. My uh, improvised GPS here. In this uh, finding all sitting combine is seems to work occasionally, and then uh, there you go, there we go. Now, now we're cooking with sauce. Seems to work sometimes. The other times it just kind of has a little damper, has has a little mental breakdown. You know, speaking of mental breakdowns, I gotta tell you, you know, when you're sitting the combine this long and you're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you get you get out the old smartphone, right? You get out the old smartphone and you just start looking at stuff. And I gotta tell you, it's amazing what you come up with. You know, like if you Google Google parents, you know, amazing what kind of stuff comes up with parents. It's crazy. You Google um, a snake in my toilet. I mean, it's amazing when you come up. Anyways, so I don't know. You know, like I'm one of those guys that I just click on something and I start reading it, and then uh, I'll click on something else and read that, and then I'll click on something else and read that. Anyway, I got to the story about the guy named Vicente. 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 Um, yeah, I think his name is Vicente. Anyways, him and his wife, I think, I think they were Italian, to be honest with you. Him and his wife got into a little quarrel. Yeah, he got into a little quarrel with his wife, and she kind of ran off. Apparently, a couple days later, she never came back home, so he called the police and said, I think my wife is missing. Well, but a day after that, the morgue called him and said, I think we found your wife. She's dead. Can you come down and ID the body? Well, heartbroken. You know, he was just mortified. Anyway, so he went down to the body, and uh, wearing the exact same clothes that she had on, but he said to the, to the uh, morgue guy, he says, well, this is not my wife. She's better looking than my wife. And the morgue guy says, well, death beautifies people, which I don't see how that's possible. I mean, how does death beautify you, right? But anyways, so the morgue guy kind of talked, oh, crap, wrong button, kind of talked the guy into thinking that that was his dead wife. So he was convinced, okay, well, that must be my dead wife. So anyway, so he makes the makes the funeral arrangements, gets everything planned, you know. Remembers that his wife wanted to be buried in the wedding dress, so he gets that out of the closet, dusts it off, getting ready, puts an advertisement in the paper. You know, like a not an advertise. I guess it's not an advertisement, like a funeral sort of obituary. Obituary. That's what I was thinking of. So they have the funeral and everything. Well, turns out that his wife wasn't dead. No, she saw the uh, thing in the paper, and she comes running over to save her wedding dress. Well, by that time it was too late. So he says, well, where in the hell have you been? Well, we got in a fight. I had to go away for a while. Anyways, long story short, she is mad. She is mad. Not mad that he buried some other woman, but she is mad that he got rid of the wedding dress. So he said, okay, honey, you're my wife now again. I'll buy you a new wedding dress. So she thought it was kind of cool. Anyways, the guy is suing the city and the morgue. He's suing for the cost of the funeral for burying some other woman. He has no idea who it was. Lost wages for taking off of work and having to go to this funeral. Uh, mental, <laughs> mental anguish and the cost of the wedding dress. I mean, I'm telling you. That, honest to God, true story. Yeah, I was reading it. I mean, everything you read on the internet is right, but oh my goodness. I couldn't believe it. Absolutely strange story. And then I was reading some story about a turtle uh, that came back after like 10 years of being gone. You know, this one turtle, the lady had a pet turtle, you know, whatever. I mean, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. I guess it is what it is. Uh, I guess it is what it is. Well, Sophie is back at the house. She is still getting things kind of settled in there. I hope that her and... Uh, um, oh, what the crap's his name again? Uh, Ch Chadwick? No, not Chadwick. Um, Chudley? No, that's not it either. 
Cedric, Cedric, Cedric. I hit the I keep it the wrong button on the scout line. I gotta go with the program. Um, Cedric, yeah, Cedric, Cedric. That's his name. Yeah, oh, uh, her and Cedric are taking care of things on the farm. I I called, I phoned her up, I phoned her up, and I said, Sophie. Uh, I said, I said, Marge, Marge, bring down the uh, tractor. Well, actually, she'd have to go to the dealership and pick up that uh, wind rower. I think I want to try the wind rower on here and see if it does a pretty good job wind rowing these uh, straw swaths. If it makes any advantage of that or not, because if I can turn two swaths into one, I don't, I can't remember um, how big of a wind rower we bought, but it would make sense, though, wouldn't it? it? Would make sense if we could just wind row a couple of these straw swaths into one, save some time on bailing. Uh, I don't know, may not save any time anyways, because you you're going over the wind roll, but it just make life easier for me, so I think that we're going to do that. And then we'll get the old um, hiker out, the old refurbished tractor, we'll get that out and see how that goes, and kind of go from there, because then I'll have a, a tractor, a loader tractor out here. I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably have that one out here to load up the bales, and then I'll haul the bale trailer with the uh, the other John Deere the loader on there. We'll haul them back to the farm, and then I can unload them. And then just bring that back to so I won't have to keep unhooking and hooking up the trailer. That kind of makes sense to me. Well, I know I would have to unhook it when I get back to the farm. There. It'd be kind of hard to unload the bales with the trailer still on the tractor, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be, that would be kind of difficult. So we'll get that done, but it is, um, holy crap, time is just flying by. Time is flying by. I might not, no, I don't think I'm going to get the other field done today. I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. I really, really do not think so. Coming on 5 o'clock here. Holy buckets, I tell you what. In the bayou, time just flies by, but it is August outside. <laughs> it's August outside. Oh, there, geez, I gotta get some post-it notes or some duct tape and get that figured out there. It's, it's August outside? That makes a lot of sense. Um, it is August, so it, we should have a little more hours of daylight than we're used to. Let's see, I'm about 76%. Holy crap, I almost got oats coming over the top of me. Uh, I hope I make it to the end there. And then I will drop this off in that, um, everything all right down there? I like that. Everything all right? Okay, looks good. Uh, yeah, we'll just jump this off, and then I'll have to take the truck down to the uh, grain mill south, a.k.a. north, and we will unload the truck and then come back, and I'll at least get, yeah, I don't, I don't have that much, much to go. But it'd probably be, oh, crap, I probably have uh, two or three more truck loads left out here, so that's not too shabby there, you're darn dootin' there. Yeah, well, there's 6,400 bucks a load of um, oats down at the grain mill. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Well, that's the news from Lake Wobegon. Where all the uh, women are strong, the men are good looking, and the children are above average. Ah, that's a good looking truck over there, isn't it? Isn't that a good looking truck over there? That is a dandy looking truck. I tell ya. The stuff we salvaged from Elm Creek. I'm glad, I'm glad we were able to get some of those. I was I was a little I was a little pissed off though. I gotta be honest with you, I was a little pissed off because we built that farm up. We were we were we were going to town, we had the vineyard and everything. And then things just went <clears throat> but that's okay. We're still alive. We're still alive. Our chickens are not being stolen by the mafia. We're we're sitting pretty good. We're sitting pretty good. Okay. We will um Yeah, I better go dump. I don't know if I'll make it down there and back again. Lift up the uh, header. We'll turn off the old seventy seven hundred. We will swing out the auger. Hello, auger. That's a good looking auger. And we will load up the truck. We'll take it and we will dump it off. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There it is. Oh, what a beautiful thing. Like I said before, I'm a little disturbed that my uh, heads up display here in the cow mine does not have the outside temperature. You know, it's like a car. You know, if you had a car that, that tells you the temperature and the, and the, uh, the, the direction. Isn't it a little? Isn't it a little disturbing when you go by another car? It doesn't have that in there. Uh, kind of like heated seats. Oh man, Sophie and I had a car one time and air conditioned seats. Oh, I tell you what, there's nothing better than a little cool air on your bum. A little cool air on your bum. Well, I'm not gonna. Yeah, that truck's almost full. Holy buckets! I should. Uh, you know what I could have done? I think that truck is. Is it the combine moving or is the truck moving? I think the truck is. I think the truck is sliding backwards down the hill. Oh. Uh, Next time I'll have to engage the uh, air brakes on that thing. I think it's probably got air brakes. Yep, we got air brakes. Okay. Oh, that's it. It is full. So I'll just pull off to the side here. Well, no, I'm going to stay right here because if I come back with the truck, I can empty out the combine. Uh, should I leave it run? It's pretty hot outside. Uh, well, well, let's cool down a little bit. We'll fire it down. Oh, that's a good looking combine. That is a good looking combine. Hop into the truck. Get this thing fired up. Head to the grain mill. 
Oh, I tell you what, starts like a charm. Starts like a charm. Oh, look at that. Fancy new red paint job inside this cab. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I am surprised. Actually, we're getting some pretty good yield out of this, aren't we? We're getting some pretty good yield. Oh, hang on there. Up the hill. Oh, truck. Wish I could roll down my window. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's hot outside. I'm telling you. Down here in the bayou. I haven't seen a gator yet. I have not seen a gator. I was uh, thinking that I would see some gators coming out of our rice uh, pond there, but nope. Haven't seen a gator yet. Between gators and crawfish, I could do a lot of fishing. Well, would you would you call it fishing? I mean, do you go fishing for a gator? You really don't go fishing for a gator, do you? You go kind of hunting for a gator. I mean, you probably go fishing for crawfish. Trapping? They, can you trap in the water? I don't know. I was never a fisher person. My dad never taught me how to fish. He thought it was more cool to shoot guns. I was more of a hunter than a fisher person. I ice fished once. I did that. But that was just an excuse to sit in the uh, heated ice, ice shanty and drink beer. That's all it was. Back in the day where we were drinking uh, Bud Ice. I think it was Bud Ice or I don't know, something like that. Bud Ice, natural ice. I don't know, something like that. Oh, gosh, it was gross. It was absolutely disgusting. Not like now where you got some good old can water and some cracking. Uh, that's all you need. That's all you need. You know what I was thinking? It's awfully quiet out here. I'm telling you, peace. Oh, hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Stop sign. Look both ways before we cross the road. Onward and upward. Oh, there's a car coming. Just when I said it was quiet out there. Uh, car's coming down the road. Come on, truck. Zoom away. Zoom, zoom away. Oh, there comes another car. I can see him in the mirror. Little sneaky devil, you. Little sneaky devil. Oh, nope. Okay, turn signal. Yeah, I was, I was kind of drifting over that way. We'll just pretend. We'll pretend I was really going that way. Okay. There's the elevator right there. I think the elevator, the elevator is the only place in town that is buying it. But, you know, it's not so bad. That's kind of the way it is in the uh, in the real world, isn't it? Yep. It's kind of the way it is in the real world. I got a letter. I got to tell you, I got, I got a uh, letter today. Oh, man, I got a letter today. You know, it's fun when you get letters from people that you haven't talked to, like, in 20 years, and they pretend like I just talked to them yesterday. Yeah, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. But nonetheless, nonetheless, it's kind of exciting. They could have included a check, though, in that, in that letter, but they didn't. They didn't. I wonder how many liters. I should say bushels. Why can't we have bushels? We're in the, we're in Louisiana for crying out loud. you got to have bushels. I wonder uh, how many bushels these bins hold. A lot of bushels in there. All right, we'll sell this. Hopefully the price is still pretty decent. Like I said, I'm not going to get an auger. I, I mean, I could get an auger. I have enough money. Well, I don't even know how much an auger is. I have to call down to the dealership. I could, yeah, 65. That's what we were getting last time. That's not too bad. Wait for the box to come down. There we go. I could get an auger and I could put it in my bin, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking down the road, if this farming down here in the bayou takes off, I'll probably just get some small hopper bins. You know, I don't have a whole lot, you know, Acre acre wise, we're not up there on acre wise. I don't I don't need uh, big fancy bin sites. I don't need you know all that jazz. And my and the problem is here's the problem that I found out is that uh, the bin at the farm there is only set up to dry corn, so it's not set up to take uh, all my other crops that I'm growing either. So we'll have to make do with an auger in the bins. I think the problem is. I'm like one of these, I'm one of the guys that, uh, you know, I believe that one bin should be one one crop, one bin kind of thing, you know? Because I don't want to have to get in there when it comes time to sell it and sort out the wheat from the corn. I, I don't. I mean, one by one, one kernel at a time, that would just make no sense. So that means I'd only have storage for two different kinds of crops. And this upcoming uh, corn crop, well, the corn will go in the corn dryer, so I don't got to worry about that. And I have... Uh, Right, rice. So I'll, I'll probably end up filling my bins with rice. I got two rice fields, and the sugar cane. I don't think we'll store the sugar cane. I think the sugar cane is going to go directly to the sugar mill. So, and then, and then I guess in that case we're sitting all right then for the upcoming year because we'll have corn in the corn dryer, and we will have rice in the um, other two bins. I'm not so sure how many bushel bins my bins are, but we can figure that out here in just a jiffy. Farm looks good, though. I'm surprised that Mouse had this uh, little shindig down here. I'm surprised he never... You know, he talked about coming to the United States, but his, after his experience in Chicago, I think it kind of turned him off a little bit. I said, Mouse, 
I'll meet you back in Minnesota, my home state of Minnesota. I'll meet you there in January because he loves the cold. The guy absolutely loves the cold. I mean, he he thrives on it. He thrives on the cold weather. Cold weather, mouse, and Facebook games. That's what he does. That's what he does. He he sits he sits in his. Um, I wonder if he wears a onesie too. He sits in his little pajamas and plays Facebook game in the in the cold. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. Not 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 my cup of tea, but I guess it is what it is. Let's see. I wonder if I'll have another full truck here by the time that that. No, I won't, because I think I can, I can get more than one combine. Oop, don't stop combine hopper and then holy crap right down in the ditch we go right down into the field i should put a little approach in there or something smooth that out a little bit that's 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 absolutely crazy and then we will uh, fill this up and then i suppose you know what i should do you know i also got a text message too from uh jacinta b and i can't drive and jacinta b was saying what the heck are you doing in louisiana i thought you were in elm creek i said no i said i had a I had told her about the problem. I said, now you got to promise me that you're not going to let on where we are. But Jacinta B wants to come down. She she wants to come down to uh, Louisiana and do a little crop consulting for us. So we'll see if she shows up or not. I don't know. We'll see. Let's unload the combine here. Unload the combine. Man, I still got, uh, what do I got in here? 4,500 liters of oats. I think my truck holds 8,000. So I'm not going to get another full hopper load before that truck is full. And already now, holy crap, now we're coming on 6 o'clock. I tell you what, it was just coming on 5 o'clock, but now we're coming on 6 o'clock. Well, I'm going to at least get this field done today. I'm going to at least get this field done today and see what happens there. And then tomorrow, well, let's look at let's look at the calendar. I tell you what, I wasn't going to do that, but let's, let's look at the fun and outstanding Bayou calendar. So today is August. So the way this works, we only have, you know, I'm only I'm only going to video one day in August. Yeah, we're, and next time I see it, we'll jump into September. But we do have um, plenty of days in September. So we do have plenty of time to get our wheat harvested. So we have that going for us. And then our corn and our sugar cane and our rice. Where's rice? Rice is down here. Uh, rice, yeah. So all those are kind of a late fall or autumn, depending on what you want to say, crops. So we'll have plenty of time between we get done with the uh, the oats and the wheat, and we probably get some field work done too. So that'll actually work out pretty good. And we don't have anything. Well, you know what? You know what? Here, 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 here comes the problem. There, eh? If I wanted to plant some wheat or barley or some rye, I would have to do that now. Hmm. That's where just to be comes in handy. That's where just to be comes in handy. But I'll tell you what. Let's um. Let's keep this field going. Let's get this done with real quick. And then we can see what time it gets to be at night. Maybe even get the combine. Well, no, the combine's going to go right down there for the next field. So I'll leave the combine out here tonight in the morning. We'll empty the truck. We'll take the truck back. I might have a couple more loads to the uh, fine and outstanding grain mill. And we'll get that done. And then tomorrow i got to keep combining. I have got um, bales to do. I've got some bale work to do. So never a dull moment on the farm. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's um, let's turn on the tune, sit back, relax, enjoy, crack open a can of water, and we'll get this field done.
think I will empty my hopper into the truck that would fill the truck and hopefully I have enough room in my hopper to finish the last little bit of oats I have over there. Good plan? Good plan. Good plan had by all. We'll get that done. Holy buckets, the sun is going down in Louisiana. That was Georgia the sun was going down in, wasn't it? I don't know I don't know what it is lately. There's like something wrong with me because I keep thinking all these things in my head and then songs pop in and I know I'm completely wrong and the sun go down in Georgia or that Memphis. I don't know. See, that's, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't really know. We'll just get the uh, oats unloaded. Yeah, I should have enough in my hopper then to finish this field. Hopefully. I think I was saying earlier, I don't know how come I'm not... I wonder if I have a hitch in the back of this truck. I could be pulling that trailer. I had that little... Um, whatever it's called, that one trailer there, I could be, whoa, easy there, does it? Yeah, 50%, 49% left in my hopper. I might, I might be able to get the last of it done before it becomes too pitch black. I wonder time the elevator closes. I wonder if I have enough time to get that truck unloaded, come back and get, oh crap, I might even have uh, two more loads. Well, I know I'll have two loads for sure. I might even have three loads. I never thought about that. Fire this puppy up. Yeah, I never thought about that. Holy buckets. I think I'm going to make a new line here. There we go. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Beautiful sunset. Absolutely beautiful sunset. Ours in a good six miles an hour. I got plenty of fuel. Combine's in pretty good shape. It's running like a charm. These old John Deere 7700s. They, they run like a charm. They run like a charm. Yeah. I'll be able to go... Let's see, do I have three passes? Am I going to get that in the next two passes? I might get a bat in one more round yet. So, yeah, we'll have plenty of room. Well, I don't know. Man, I was 56% uh, full right there. Only got a little less than 3,000 liters to go. Man, I don't know. It'll be close. It will be close. Well, let me finish this up here real quick. I only got... You know, another, uh, well, game time, another uh, 45 minutes by, by, um, well, it's ending by 8 o'clock. I should be done here. I should be done by 8 o'clock, and we'll, um, we'll kind of go from there. With 7,479 liters in the combine, this field is done. 15 minutes to 8 o'clock, and we are done. That's not too shabby. That is not too shabby. We'll get this thing on. Well, no, is the truck? I can't remember. The truck is full, isn't it? Yeah, the truck is full. So we will sit out here with this combine. I'll run the truck in. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Yeah, because the truck holds 8,000 liters. So I will be able to go unload this truck, come back, unload the combine, and we will have that empty. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'll put out the auger. I'm going to leave the combine run. It's, it's kind of cooling down at night here just a little bit. I'll leave this thing run. I'll set the header down. Put the pipe out. There we go. I'll go unload this truck real quick. And we can uh, then come back, unload the combine. I'll turn off the combine. Maybe blow it off a little bit real quick. And it can sit right there. And uh, that'll be it for tonight. Look at that fancy lights in this truck. Oh, splendid. Absolutely sputted. And a good truck it is. A dandy good truck. Yeah, see, if I would have had that trailer hooked up here, I would have been able to get all... I would have been able to... Get, holy buckets! I would have been able to get it all done. I think the elevator closes at 9... I think they close at 9 o'clock, so I think I still have time here to get there and get this load in. I could... Oh, crap, you know, now that I think... Oh, no, I have wheat. I was going to say, I should save a little bit for the uh, chickens. I gotta save some wheat for the chickens, some chicken feed. I better do that too. I don't I don't know where I'm gonna put that though. That's the problem. Where am I gonna put the darn wheat? Oh, we'll, we'll figure we'll figure something out. Hear that rattle? I got a little rattle in this truck. I don't know if it's a uh, bad U-joint or something, but I got something going on here in this truck. Hopefully it can uh, stick with it for a little longer. I, I don't really have the funds to replace it, you know. And here's the problem. Here lies the problem is that, whoa, brakes, brakes, brakes. 
here lies the problem. Sophie and I cannot go down, I should say Marge and I cannot go down to the bank and get a loan because technically we don't want our names in any kind of loan application going through some database or something like that, people finding out who we are. So we're going to have to kind of go there without, without having to borrow any money, I think. It'd be, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be careful doing that. So I know we have, I know we, we, we could. Oh, crap, what am I doing here? Go. Uh, I know we could. We, we could. we could get some money, but we, we don't want to take the chance of um, our name. What are you doing? Empty. My low on hydraulic oil or something? My little PTO not engaged all the way? Something going on there. So we're going to have to kind of grind it out. Now, there, I, I did look at the local contract board. I have a special app for that too. Six thousand. Oh, is the price going up a little bit? I think. I, I did look at that, and there are some hefty, hefty contracts out there. There's a Balin contract out there worth about forty thousand bucks. There is some transporting, some transporting contracts out there. There's one for like two hundred thousand bucks, but you would need like two hundred thousand liters of sorghum, which ain't happening. Uh, so, we'll have the kind of stuff they got. There's some plowing contracts out there, but I think what I'm going to do is. I'm going to get, oh, crap. Well, number one, I got to get the uh, wheat field harvested. Got to get that field harvested, get things kind of squared away, get the, oh, crap, that car was coming up behind me pretty fast, wasn't it? Do you see where that guy, little road rage incident, I think it was down in Ford, I can't remember where I saw that article, where um, apparently the one guy flipped him the beard. The, the beard. Yeah, he, he flipped his beard at him. That made a lot of sense. The bird. Flipped him the bird, and then uh, threw a pop bottle at him, and the guy thought that it was a, uh, a, a gun blast, or a bullet flying. So he took out his uh, sidearm, a little pistol, pistoli there, and driving down the road, opened the window and started shooting the other guy. I don't think he killed the other guy, but he was uh, turned himself in later on. But yeah, he's in big, he's in big, big doo doo now. Because the problem is, is that my turn? Oh, that's my turn. Man, I tell you what, traffic here is going to start hating me. Traffic is going to start hating me. But yeah, so that's not good. And I think he was like a um, fire inspector or something like that. I don't know go and inspect fires, something like that. He had to resign everything. I tell you what, it's amazing the news that you read, read when you are sitting in the combine. I'm telling you what, now it's all about whoopee. It's all about the whoopee now. I could care less though. I could care less. Anyways, we'll get this combine unloaded. I'm pro uh, the elevator, um, I'm not going to take this back to the elevator tonight. I'll park this truck in the yard. It's not supposed to rain. Oh crap, it is supposed to rain. Uh, boy, I tell you what, being a forecaster, the only job that you can constantly screw up. Well, as says Trout Pat would say, the Navy, the Navy, they have that problem too, and still keep your job. But I can park this. I'll park it underneath my carport there. I think I can fit it in the carport. I think I can, and we'll park it in there. I can park it in the shit too. I got, I got plenty of parking spots, and we will uh, do it right away in the morning. Maybe the price will go up a little bit. I don't know. So I'll pull under the combine here. We'll get that thing turned off and. That uh, should be good right about there. I can move the combine here a little bit. Combines. Oh, my combine turned off. That's not a good sign. We'll get that unloaded. Holy crap, I got a dirty combine. I got a dirty combine already. Well, I was gonna blow it off. This thing's gonna need a wash. We get done with this, we get done with this field. Or the next field, I should say, the the, uh, the wheat field. Hopefully that's a pretty good yield in wheat too. So we'll have one more truckload, so that would be another uh, 6500 bucks in the bank. That's not too shabby for one day's work. I'm telling you, that's not too shabby for one day's work. I think we're sitting pretty good. And like I say, land prices are just, I mean, it, it's amazing. There is, there is a sugarcane field that is um, on the market somewhat, somewhat on the market. There's going to be a lot of bidders going for it, so it is something to contemplate. But I only, you know, we only got that... Uh, one row harvester thing you got, that pull behind harvester. I, I Oh crap, I don't have the money for one of those fancy sugar, sugar cane harvesters. So I figured the pole behind would be just fine. Our fields are not that not that big. It's a little extra work, but we can handle it. I'll just, uh, I'll probably I'll probably put Sophie. Yeah, I'll probably put Sophie in the harvester and then I'll run cart alongside of her. Well, actually the, the, the let's see, the harvester, I wonder if that harvester can pull the cart behind it. I, I think it can. I think it can. We'll, we'll have to figure that out. Then again, I didn't even know the, the, the damn auger didn't fold down. I was thinking the auger folded down. We'll just turn this around. We'll spin this right here. 
header is down. We'll just lower the uh, reel down in case we get some high winds tonight. Turn off the lights. Look at that. It's already cooled down. We can shut that 77 down. That's a good looking combine. That is a good looking combine. I wonder how much they go for. And then again, I don't want two combines. I, I don't want to have the hassle, the maintenance, the labor costs, and all that stuff. That, that would just be, that would be, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy talk. Oh, I think I hit a stone there. Hop into the, whatever that word is. Zeal. I think it's a zeal. It's a zeal. A zeal or a gas? I think it's a zeal. I think it's a zeal. We're taking this back to the farm. I'm going to unload it in the morning. No sense in loading it tonight. I can find a spot to put it. I think I'm going to go inside, have a couple of bacon sandwiches, and then uh, cut it with Sophie and let her slap me around a little bit. I think that's kind of the plan. Pew, pew, pew. I think that's kind of the plan. Tomorrow will be another big day. We'll get that uh, wheat field harvested. And then probably start working on uh, the straw. We'll get to do the straw bales, too. We won't have anything to harvest for a while yet, so we, we kind of got a little low, which will give us some time to uh, get some fields. Now, those two fields, the old field I just harvested and the wheat field I'm going to harvest tomorrow, that's going to be our rice next year, so I can't plant anything in there. The only thing that I could do planting-wise is if we acquired some property, some, some land. And I don't really see that happening right now. At the moment, I want to get some cows on the farm. Kind of blend in a little bit. Maybe, you know, maybe look Amish. We can look a little, we can, we can, we can, well, we're not Amish. We don't have horses. Uh, yeah, that's a bummer. You know, like that, what's that one movie? Witness? Is that, is that the movie Witness? With uh, Harrison Ford and Kelly LeBrock? Didn't, didn't they, like, like uh, take, take umbrage in a uh, Amish colony, an Amish settlement? Oh, hell. I'm just going to pull her. The door's already open. I'm going to pull right in the shed here. Like I said, I had to move some things around, and I think that worked out pretty good. i tell you one thing. I'm a little disappointed, though. My, uh, my John Deere tractor could not pull that cart. Nope. Tires were spinning everything. That thing must weigh up. That thing must weigh a ton. Okay, truck in there. I can leave the door open, get some air in here. Let the oats uh, cool down a little bit. So if it does rain, they will be protected. Now, if it does rain overnight and tomorrow, it's going to delay our harvest a little bit for that wheat field. But um, other than that, not too bad. Not too bad. Pretty quiet. I should put up some lights in here. The moon is pretty bright. But I should put up some yard lights. I'm going to get lost here. The poor chickens. The poor chickens. What if the chickens are scared of the dark? Holy crap, look at that. We have got some fancy red lights in that barn, don't we? That's a pig barn over there. Uh, cattle barn is right. We have fancy lights in the cattle barn? Oh, yeah, look at that. We got some fancy red lights going on here. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. That's that's pretty cool. I wonder if Mouse did that. Right, you know what? I bet that was Bex. Bex has got the fancy light system going on, which... You know, it would be nice if she would uh, just uh, send it in the Giants and for FS22. Yeah, just send it down in. Yeah, fancy lights. Oh, look at that. Some fancy red lights. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Oh, yeah. that that That's that's well done. Yeah, nice. That's a good pigsty. I think it's a pigsty. I think it's a pigsty. It's got to be a pigsty. It's not a sheepsty. I think it's a pigsty. Yeah, that's a pigsty. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm going to go in. I'm going to have a couple bacon sandwiches. I'm going to cuddle with uh, Sophie. Let her slap me around a little bit. Maybe watch an episode of Longmire. We've been watching Longmire together. So I'll do... Hey, chickens. Oh, what, are you stepping on a chicken? I think I just stepped on a... Oh, they're over there. I think I swore I just stepped on a chicken. That would be bad. Anyways, thanks for stopping today on our uh, vlog number two. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Sophie says hi. And uh, continue to stay safe and healthy, my friends. I'm going to have this. Oh, I can sit on the porch. Look at that. A little line on the porch. And behave yourself, enjoy the rest of the week, and uh, keep them between the ditches, my friends. So long.